spring. It is right around the corner, but the trees and flowers, they're already blooming. Allergy sufferers beware because it's going to be a rough season. 12 News reporter Kelsey Johnson explains. Warm weather, rain and wind. The perfect blend for the beginning of an allergy nightmare. And the right weather conditions, which we typically have around here, there's usually going to be kind of a bumper crop of pollen every spring. That's Dr. Russell Perry, an allergy and immunology specialist at Family Allergy and Asthma Center. He says allergy sufferers buckle up. Our tree season, you can see it starts in late February and it'll run, you know, I tell people usually through the end of school, through about Memorial Day, it'll start slacking off. March marks the beginning of grass season and depending on rain conditions will last until November. We typically get a grass season that peaks in May and June um, and instead of stopping it just kind of smolders through the summer and it'll pick up with weed season in the fall. During springtime in southeast Texas trees are an allergy sufferers enemy. A lot of people see the pine during the spring and think that's what's bothering them, but it's the ash and the elm and the oak and the stuff that you don't see that's floating around in the air that you're actually breathing in. The endless sneezing, watery eyes, and scratchy throat are all signs you're suffering from allergies. According to weather.com, right now in southeast Texas, the pollen count is high, so what can you do to fight it? Dr. Perry says first thing is avoidance. Stay indoors during those peak times of the day. Experts say that's typically between 5 a.m. to 10 10 a.m. and at dusk. Don't leave doors and windows to your home open. Use eye drops and nasal spray. Take allergy medications. Make sure you have a good air filter for your home. And if you come from outside, change clothes immediately and take a shower to wash off the pollen. And if all else fails, call an allergist. We tend to see the folks that have tried that and tried their regular doctor and they're still struggling. Or maybe they have lower airway involvement with asthma and some of those things. If you're trying to decide if you're suffering from allergies or a cold, Dr. Perry says allergies never run a fever, but can lead to sinus infections. Also, if you're sneezing quite a bit, that's a telltale sign you have allergies. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.